Hey y'all, it's Thomas of Toronto 24 and today we're looking at three watches under $10,000 that hold their value over time. We'll also mention one at the end of the video that has tripled in price over the last 10 years. Let's start by saying this is not the typical watch investment video. This is not a get rich quit scheme. Rather, these are three all around watches that don't cost that much to start and that won't sell for a loss if you need to unload them down the road. The watches that are the best investments exist in an investment level price point, but just because you don't have five figures to spend on a watch doesn't mean you have to lose money. Let's take a look at a few examples, shall we? The Cartier Santos is a watch that has never really achieved icon status, but it's got some cool history to it and the design has endured for 120 years and counting. A lot of people don't know it was the world's first pilot's watch made by Louis-Francois Cartier for his friend and aviator Alberto Santos Dumont. And the people that do know that don't really talk about it. That's probably because it is far from a tool watch by today's standards. The Santos is, however, tougher than your average Cartier, and the modern versions do have 100 meters of water resistance, so it is a well-suited watch for everyday wear. We should also mention it is a very good-looking watch. Listen, if you want a watch that the people around you will notice and appreciate, get a Santos. I have a Santos of my own, but it's in the shop because I dropped it on the floor. These watches perform well on the market too. A new steel Cartier Santos, the one with the smart link bracelet adjustment system in the medium 35 millimeter size has gone from roughly 5,800 in early 2020 to roughly 7,300 now in early 2022. These are not huge gains, but you're not losing money if you decide to sell and you get to wear a gorgeous watch the whole time. A couple other similar watches you might want to consider that have also held their value over time are the Rolex Datejust, no surprise, IWC Pilots watches, uh, certain models from Tudor like the Date 8, for example, and a lot of Speedmaster models as well. Up next, let's talk about Seiko. You know them and chances are you love them. In fact, popular appeal is a major reason why Seikos tend to hold their value well. Let's consider the Alpinist, for example. This now discontinued model sports an inner rotating compass and a reasonable 38 millimeter case size. There are other Alpinist variations with different reference numbers, but we'll talk specifically about the SARB017 with the green dial. These were selling for under $500 in 2018, and they're now going for over $800. A $300 profit over a few years isn't gonna make you rich, but that's still money well spent in this case. We mentioned the Omega Speedmaster earlier and let's look a little closer now. In particular, let's suggest the Omega Speedmaster Professional 145.022. This watch has the caliber 861 and tritium hour markers and hands with a production run from roughly 1969 to 1988. If you're looking to get into vintage Speedmasters, this is a good option to consider, and there are even sub-variations of this reference if you want to dive a bit deeper. Speedmasters in general are a great value proposition, and these remain accessible vintage examples with a whole lot of character. 10 years ago on our site, these were selling for about $2,400. Five years ago, they were selling for about $4,400. Now they average around $6,700 on our site. With the Speedmaster 145.022 and other similar Speedmasters, you can tap into the rich history of the model, check a box off your watch collecting bucket list, and pass it along to the next owner without losing money on the experience. Again, this is not a high risk, high reward gamble on the next big thing in watches, but it's good old fashioned fun that won't set you back, and we like that. My favorite of the three is the Santos. Which one would you choose? Let us know in the comments below and also let us know if there are any other models that should have made the list. I'm Thomas of Corona24 in New York City. We'll have more videos coming to the channel all the time, so stay tuned for those. And in the meantime, enjoy your watches.